Tourism is the largest industry in Palau. Um, it probably um, contributes 60-70% of our economy. This project has been implemented with the support of international organizations such as Food and Agriculture Organizations of the United Nations, Slow Food International, Sustainable Travel International, and the Coalition of Fragile Ecosystem. Our goal is to make Palau the world's first carbon neutral tourist destination, to value our food heritage and give men and women equal opportunity to reach markets. Palau is a matrilineal society. We developed a way to measure your carbon footprint with the world's first carbon calculator. Visitors can estimate and offset their carbon footprint during their stay in Palau. From their plane ride to their meals, tourists will be able to offset according to their specific itinerary. I think the ideal project for Palau is we already have a network of protected areas. And particularly, I think, uh, Marmadu Bay, which is a large estuary lined by mangroves. Uh, I think that is the, probably the best site, best suited site uh, for uh, potential carbon sequestration site for Palau. Palau relies on about 90% of uh, imported uh, food, sometimes unhealthy foods. And so we need to produce uh, enough food locally for ourselves as well as for visitors. In the process of producing food, we sometimes produce uh, greenhouse gas. So our approach here in Palau is to ensure that uh, our food production reads a net zero approach. So our customers are mainly local, uh, the local community. We have a lot of visitors come in from like Guam, Saipan, Micronesian region, all the way to Hawaii. Uh, every now and then we'll get some Japanese tourists, pretty much any tourists that visit Palau, the ones that want to try uh, local foods like uh, or the stuffed crab or fried fish. I would like to have a central point of contact to where I could reach, I know I could reach out to them as a restaurant and just be able to feel confident that I would be able to get vegetables or taro, anything that I would need for that day. practices <laughs> a will practice healthy said at the same time ing sa BL mo help para a labeling ma marketing ra ay gay bitin igal ng slow food community ambo produce we've been instituting programs that we want to call community based tourism and so if the people don't benefit from it and if we don't protect the environment for future generations there's no point in having this business we have a holistic approach to tourism and I think that's the future of tourism. <laughs>